We begin at 10 with a breaking news update on a story we've been following all day. You are taking a live look now as crews clean up a train derailment in Jackson County. They've actually been working at this scene since around noon, trying to figure out exactly what caused 26 coal cars of a Norfolk Southern train to derail. The cleanup efforts are expected to take at least a full day. Right now, County Road 8 in Woodville is shut down because of the cleanup efforts. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Naja Sherman. We first brought you this as breaking news during our midday show and have been following the story all afternoon. Way 31's Cody Fisher joins us live from the scene right now to find out where crews are in the cleanup process. Cody. Dan and Naja, what you just saw right there were crews dragging away one of the final train cars that was uh, that derailed during this accident. That was one of the 26, and by my count, that might actually be one of the last ones that they need to clear out before taking away all of this coal that is left over. But there still are scraps of metal, some of the axles that were underneath those train cars that they still need to clean up. Now, I spoke with some people who were at home when this accident happened today, and they describe it as a scary experience. Brooklyn Moore and her neighbor Pilar Delaney have been watching crews clean up the train derailment all day from this front porch. Moore describes what happened as something straight out of a movie. Right over here in front of our house, there were cars flipping off the tracks. It frightened her family. I was always afraid, you know, something like this may happen. Um, so it, yeah, it was scary. Monday night, crews continue to remove the crumpled train cars from the tracks and hauled away the coal that was inside them. Repair crews have also brought in what looks like prefabricated railroad strips to make repairs to the rail line. The efficiency with which they've done this is amazing. Moore says this train derailment has impacted and will impact her family's schedule slightly. I had to go pick up my children today from school and I may have to take them again in the morning. On Monday, school buses from Woodville High School had to take a different route due to the accident. The principal told Way 31 they will do the same thing on Tuesday morning. I'm just really thankful that it wasn't any worse. Now, the Jackson County Sheriff's Office tells me that these crews will be out here until the job is done. And I actually want to step behind the camera because I want to show everyone at home exactly what is going to be the next thing on the list for repair. Now, as I grab my camera here and zoom in just a little bit, it might be a little bit dark, but right next to that backhoe is some uh, rail lines that are just completely mangled and just torn up from this accident. So they'll be repairing those next. They're going to be working throughout the night. Uh, they have estimated that it might take 24 hours for it to get completely repaired and up and run, running again, which puts the total, the, the window right at 10 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Reporting live in Woodville, Cody Fisher, Way 31 News.